That's a lovely shot from Nalbandian. Wind or no wind. Turn, you wouldn't know there was a wind blowing with Nalbandian playing like that. <laughs> Nalbandian looking at the mark, not giving the guy much credit, but it was a super shot. 30, 40. Oh, that's why he looked. Yes, I'm surprised he didn't challenge. Him. Yeah, it may just have got a bit of the line. Yeah, the slice oh. worked a treat. Yeah, Things conspired against Nalbandia there. Beautiful. Yeah, he's not, still not happy, Nalbandia. But he's getting it down at the moment. He leads 3 2, a break up once more. And then there's that from Dimitrov. Pure reaction. Game yes. Now, Bandian, who came on court, second favourite with the crowd there. Silky smooth. Wasn't he Federer like there? He just floated across the grass. Okay, no and he gave it a crack. I don't know if he was right to do so, but now Bandian's got things on an even keel again. 4 3 he leads with a break. <laughs> Not sure about that. Pedigree, isn't it? Oh, Beautiful execution here from Nalbandia. Super. Again, so he gives himself a chance. Sixes and sevens with himself midway through the set, but he knuckled down when he needed to. And the conditions improving overhead. Such an essential part of the grass court game. He's got a good technique for it. Also, he's got to make up his mind a lot sooner about what he's to do on his backhand return. I think he's all right. Abandon checking, and, uh, and he is. Really an anxious moment. Super shot, though. Yes, a little bit of magic there from the Bulgarian is now Bandy just edged towards the centre. Yes, and he gives him the opportunity here with just a, a steady backhand with no real force in it. And Dimitrov here with plenty of time can whip it.
Oh, just a gorgeous rally. <laughs> Lovely to see. Yes, when both uh, tango well, it's terrific, isn't it? Particularly the old competition of one at the back, the other at the net. Low, he didn't uh, react quite quickly enough. Well played. Now that's in chuntering to himself, but a fourth ace Use. for Dimitrov. aren't necessarily crucial in this match how crucial will that be well played now Badian now with a break force ahead towards the finish line out it was one heck of a shot but out it was Dimitrov's going to challenge it's the far end from us it just had a feeling of being out not much loss to spin there so I think it did go long oh no now now Bandian will be very surprised he raised his arm as, as if to say it was long <laughs> yeah it's the biggest backhand of the day. Well, he's not questioning it. How about that? It did look great. <laughs> Follow the bouncing ball if you can. In. I can't believe it's in, but it is. Yeah, well watched. Oh, well played. <laughs> Bit of cat and mouse there between the two of them, but lovely skill from the Argentine. Boy, this is a difficult shot to try. He really play, plays it pretty well, but somehow Nalbandian's expecting it. Why on earth would he? Terrific hands. Not an easy shot for either of them to play. Oh, a double slip.
Sir so must have just got the line. Dimitrov's not a natural challenger. Boy, he is stretching it to the limit. Again, super anticipation from Nalbandian. Yes. Yes, it was ob obvious that he was going to play there, but at the same time, he did uh, so well at the end of the long run to get the angle. Got a good reach, says Dimitrov, just over six foot. Sumptuous. Just one slip too many, I'm afraid. He has slipped a lot, particularly in the last 15 minutes. Cleaned his clock with that shot. <laughs> Fifteen love. Very brave. Considering the conditions, it was a super contest. And the crowd rise. And we hope we see a lot more of Grigor Dimitrov here at Queen's. But it's now Bandian who makes it through to his first final of the year. Well, he's a canny player. He has so much experience. He used these conditions, which were very, very difficult for the players, that much uh, more efficiently than his opponent. Knew what to do, cut out the errors in the main, and uh, even though he got a good talking to, gave himself a good talking to, he did definitely seem the better player in today's world. But Dimitrov, well, I think he's done enough really to tell us and everybody else that uh, he's going to be a force, not the sort of man at Wimbledon you would enjoy playing. Now we may hear a lot more about him in the next few weeks. A huge ovation for Grigor Dimitrov. And Albandian, who got to the semi-final here four years ago,